hearing today near Manhattan DA Alvin Bragg's office called by Republicans following the indictment of former President Trump, but Democrats call it a sham. We have team coverage. We begin with CBS 2's Alice Gaynor. The policies being implemented by this district attorney are going to ruin this great city. Democrats called today a stunt. The chairman has dragged the entire House Judiciary Committee to New York, inserting the federal government into a purely state and local matter. Some questioned why a hearing on violent crime wasn't held in Congressman Jordan's state of Ohio. Ohio's murder rate in 2020 was 59% higher than New York City's. Republicans defended the location of the hearing. There is a perception in the city that it is not safe. On the witness list today, a victim of crime and some family members of victims. My son is dead forever. They also heard from the city's detective union, the head of an anti-gun violence group, a woman whose boyfriend was killed in New Jersey in 2005, not in New York City, who spoke as a victim advocate, and Jose Alba, the former bodega clerk arrested after stabbing his attacker to death. The charges were dropped against him. Democratic Queens Councilman Robert Holden also criticized Bragg, who is not the district attorney in the other four boroughs. I've not seen the lawlessness that I'm seeing today in New York City in my lifetime. That means we're afraid to go anywhere. Do you realize and recognize this pamphlet, Fear City in the 1970s? We do better if we work together. Republicans claim they plan to hold hearings on violent crime in other cities, but have not said when or where those are scheduled. In Lower Manhattan, Alice Gaynor, CBS 2 News. In a tweet, the DA's office responded saying, quote, DA Bragg is reducing crime, reversing a tough spike that began before he even took office.